What are the best free online certificates you can complete that will actually look good on a resume? Not something most people can do but if you are in the US military and you aren't doing the United States military apprenticeship program, USMAP, you are missing out on an opportunity. It is free you are already doing 99.9% of the work for it and it's adept of labor certificate. The only real effort you have to put in that you don't already do is logging your hours and getting supervisor signatures. Google AdWords and inbound certification good for online marketing and totally free. Questions are lengthy but employers are often impressed it's on there. You have a public library card. Lots of cities partner with Lynda.com which you can access for free through your public library's portal. Normally the subscription is over $800 a year. I don't think there are certifications. But there's tons of courses and learning paths. Heads up concussion certificate. From the CDC website. Meant for coaches and referees. Giving advice on the signs and symptoms of concussions, a very transferable skills. And how to manage them. It's also completely free. And you can print yourself out the certificate. Very good for anyone related to healthcare sports emo. You're a pilot or even work in aviation. AOPA offers free ASI online safety courses with everything from flight planning to airport security. I think some employers even require certain ones before you can get a ramp badge. Not free depending on the state you live in. But look into becoming a notary public. You are able to notarize legal documents. I've had a couple of friends ask if I can stop by their offices to notarize documents for people. Super useful to have around. In nice. It's $15 to take the test. And if you pass, 70% minimum of multiple choice. It's $60 to get the license. But I've definitely gotten my value for it. And it's good for the entire state. To go. Com. These are actually classes you can get college credits or certifications for through a ton of real colleges. Not just for profit ones. My community college has classes through here. Just go to the website and check it out. You could take 1-3 classes on a specific coding language and then put that on your resume. Check the website out and look at the classes you might be interested in taking that you might see value in for your career or jobs you want to apply to. Personally, I'm a fan of the online ASL course. No matter what your job is. Or the odds of running into someone who is hard of hearing. It's effectively learning a new language and being able to communicate with a good chunk of the population. It is especially good for any service industry. Public sector. Or communications job. Edit one thing to keep in mind is that just knowing ASL doesn't mean that you know the culture. Deaf HH community is very deep and diverse. If you are interested in learning more than the basics to assist I highly recommend learning about the culture a bit. Colon. Close bracket. Want to work for a brewery? It's not free but cheap. $45 I believe. There is a test called the Chicharoni Beer Service Certification. There are three levels to the test but any brewery in the USA would be stupid not to hire you if you have passed the first level test. A great study guide for the test is Tasting Beer by Randy Mosier. Read it and you will know everything needed. I've met him and he signed my book. Nice man. You are a programmer who uses databases. MongoDB is providing free MongoDB certification at university. Mongob. Com courses. This is a great way to get certified on one of the leading NOSQL databases out there. Can't be bothered to scroll down, probably been posted before in this thread. CS50 I believe it's called. Introduction to Computer Science. Held fully online and, last time I checked, fully free. Give it a google if it tickles your fancy. YouTube offers a certification in audience growth and development. It's a requirement for some job listings and people are always impressed when you say you're certified. Edit. Turns out there are limitations on who is eligible for certification. I was working at an MCN at the time. Managing one of the largest channels on the site when I got certified. When applying for other jobs. 
Every one of them said YouTube certified is a plus or must be YouTube certified. Double quote. Edit 2. The certification process is a long one and is mostly sluggish hours. A series of videos and fake scenarios. With a multiple choice quiz after each section. It covers best practices for upload schedules. Thumbnails. Banners. Description layout. Tags. Really everything there is about YouTube. At the end you get emailed a PDF from Google saying you are officially certified. I would really call a certificate. But IBM's master the mainframe as a yearly competition. I did it completed and got this online badge that you can put on your resume. Have to say. This is a great question. I'm going to save this but I wanted to say thanks. CPR certification can be earned online. I don't think that an online course is adequate to teach you to respond to a real emergency. But a hiring manager in his 60s who had too many cheeseburgers in his or her life might like the idea of having someone like you around. Close bracket. Edit. A lot of people are telling me you need to do the actual test in person and you should. An online certification will never compare to practical experience. Your mileage may vary. Free but very cheap. $30 plus comma stack skills. Com offers classes that range anywhere from learning how to become a network penetration tester. How to hack Android phones. How to code. And how to make apps. It's extremely useful and they have a solid refund policy if it doesn't work out for you. Edit. The average price I noticed on there was $30. There are many classes that are cheaper and also some that are more expensive. They also sometimes come in bundles which really gives you more bang for your buck. For $50 I took an 8 week course online through the American Alliance of Hypnotists to become a certified hypnotist. It was actually an incredibly informative course and I learned a lot about how hypnosis works. It is a really interesting conversation piece that people are almost always interested in learning more about. As a bonus. Every time I snap my fingers my wife gets me a beer and doesn't know why. Okay. Just kidding about that part. But it would be cool. Right? Colon. Close bracket. Edit. Found it. Here. HTTP. WWW. Hypnosa certified. Com basic. HTML. Is the link to the training for $47 feel like most certifications you can complete online for cheat. You could probably just say you did it with the same effect. At least know the topic and if questioned. Say it was a while ago and you could quickly refresh it. Get the job today. Bullshit your way to victory tomorrow. UNDSS. Org. Basic and advanced security in the field. Mandatory for all UN employees. Often a requirement for other non-military institutions involved in humanitarian missions. Even if you don't do stuff like that. It gives you a nice basilea in terms of traveling abroad. A lot of states are requiring classes or tests now but you can look into becoming a certified pharmacy technician. Cost me $20 and all I did was fill out a packet with my address and some info. Stupid easy. And you can get a job in a pharmacy making above minimum wage. The organization offers a. Currently. Free course titled Universal Design and Assistive Technology in Experimental Education. Knowledge of accessibility and how to implement it is an amazing and rather new skill to have and is applicable to many more individuals than just people with disabilities. On my phone sorry. HTTP. Abroad with disabilities. Org. Voting license. It's an 8 hour class and easy test. Works in every state in the USA and all of Canada. Free for people under 18. $10 for over 18. No renewal required. I honestly forgot all the rules but it's a great thing to have. Recently found that SolidWorks gives you a couple of complimentary certification exams if you have a subscription. I use SW at work and we have a subscription so we keep the software up to date. Being the only person who uses it here. I don't have to fight anyone for the free exam. National Incident Management System, NIMS, Incident Command System, 
Ikes. They are online courses available through FEMA that teach you how to operate during an incident. Very useful for police. Fire. And M's jobs because you use the skills on every call. Being a notary public is pretty inexpensive and you can study and take the course online. It's about as hard as an average driver's test. You just have to go to a courthouse to pay and do an oath and sign the book. And then you also pay for your stamp. But all total, at least in my instance, you're hardly out $50. Almost every business needs a notary. So it's really handy to have and you can practice anywhere in the state where you are certified. Not free. But if you're an education. Google certified educator. Level 1 is only $10. And level 2 is $25. I did them both in several 6 hours days over the course of one week. Covered Google Classroom. Sites. Gmail. Hangouts. Calendar etc. Recoder Camp. Com offers an online certificate in front-end programming, HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery, with zero experience required. Definitely worth it to check it out. You're looking at working in tech. LPIC0 is invaluable. If you've done piss on a Linux new kernel Unix machine, happy now name Nazis? Comma you know the content, simple commands like grep, cat, cd, less, etc. BM Watson Analytics 101. It may only be free for students but it does give you a certification. My professor said this would be good to have on your resumes and will assure you really understand the power of big data analytic tools. Not particularly free but super cheap get a food handlers and or alcohol beverage commission license in your state. Even if you don't plan on entering the food industry it's pretty nice to have. I got mine because for a club organization of mine we had to fundraise at sports concession stands. It became useful for applying to part time jobs as well. Well. It's not an actual certificate but learning programming languages is easy to do now online. For me as a chemist I'm using python now and many others are still using excel which is too slow compared to python. Also certs aren't free. But they're cheap. You can get certs in a wide variety of subject areas through Coursera. Developer Boot Camp was the best $100 I ever spent. And looks like it's currently on sale for $10. 12 weeks will take someone who knows absolutely nothing about computers and turn them into a code writer. Can get Six Sigma White Belt for free. Looks great for supply chain majors have a QPR suicide prevention training certificate that people are always impressed by. Short training. Very important stuff. GIS, Geographic Informational System. You can download a free trial of ArcGIS and take free classes. Good for various environmental jobs. M tell you something. As someone who has hired a lot of staff over many years. Get something to put on your resume. 90% of what we're looking for is that someone is willing to put in effort. If you can show that you've taken free courses. And put in your own time to improve yourself and your career. You are far ahead of 90% of the resumes we receive. The other 10% is the skills you bring to the table. Best comment of the day. I'm CPR and EAD certified. It's a good certificate, especially if you are doing freelance instructor, climbing jobs here in Singapore. Unfortunately you got to pay for it, about $150 for 3 day course. Need to be renewed every 2 years. Having food hygiene certificate allows you to work in F and B. Need to renew every 3 years. Had one from 2012 to 2014. Good news is you can claim the fees from the government. Not sure about now.